All right, take a look outside. Last night, we were looking at snow flurries. We had some snow flurries. Didn't we really leave very much? It's a dusting. But take a look at this. Whenever you see kind of the steam from buildings, you know it's cold outside. Right now, minus one degrees. Feels more like minus 14 outside with winds. And they're not really gusting too much, only seven miles per hour, but really dropping. So what is going on? Well, we start with the jet stream. The jet stream right now is diving all the way down to Texas and then pulling back across much of the East Coast. All of this air right here is Arctic air. So it's not just us, it's all the way down towards Texas that is dealing with these temperatures. This is what we're seeing right now. Madison, minus one degrees. Dallas right now, 15 degrees down towards New Orleans, 63, not bad. San Antonio, Texas, 30 degrees for them. That's very unusual. This is what it feels like in some of those places. Right now, Wichita feels like minus 10. Up towards Fargo feels like minus 25. And Billings feels like minus 29. Of course, we feel like minus 14. So we are talking tens of millions of people dealing with this Arctic blast. Right now, we do have our windshield advisory that stays in effect all the way through tomorrow at noon. This will be reissued on Tuesday for the same reason, because in the morning, we're going to be diving down with those wind chills very, very low. So tomorrow morning, we're going to be even lower than we were this morning. I told you that this morning here in Madison, we were about minus seven degrees. Tomorrow morning, minus 14. That's another seven degrees lower than what we were. Everybody is going to be into the minus teens for their air temperature. But let's take a look at what the future wind chill looks like hour by hour. We're gonna start here at nine o'clock. By nine o'clock, everybody is in the minus 20s in terms of wind chill. As we go later, about 1.30, we start to get into the low minus 20s. And then right there at 7.30 in the morning, of course, tomorrow's a holiday, no school. Some people still have to go to work. This is what it's going to feel like if you are going to work tomorrow, getting on the roads at 7.30. Madison will feel like minus 33. Platte will, Platte will will feel like minus 34 degrees. Everybody is going to be seeing these dangerously cold wind chills. Of course, this means potential frostbite if you don't take care. Hypothermia could be an issue here as well. Even as we go towards the afternoon, even 4 p.m., we still have wind chills of minus teens to minus 20s. It is going to be an extremely cold day. That's going to be the coldest morning we see. And as we go towards Tuesday, we get a little bit better, maybe minus 13 as opposed to minus 14, and we creep back up. Then we get a secondary blast of cold air starting on Friday. And then that tends to modify as we go into the weekend. But mm -hmm. it is brutally cold and it's really prolonged. This is kind of unusual. Um, they haven't talked about this for years where it stays so long and it stays so cold. And after we just had this huge blast of Absolutely. snow, one after another after another, which is creating some issues for crews. We're going to fill people yeah. in on that next. Uh, the